Hey everybody, welcome to Intuitive Vibes Narc Survival 101. It is your girl Erica here alongside my very good friend Amanda. Out of you know her. It's been a while since you guys have seen her on camera with me. Um, but she is my special guest for the night. Um, I'm actually doing this video um, in pretty much as a response to a lot of people who've been emailing me in regards to um, why the narcissist goes silent, why they appear to be the ones that are ignoring the victim after the discard and it does kind of have a mind-boggling effect on a lot of victims and even some survivors so in this video we're going to talk about why the narc goes completely silent and even in no contact why a lot of victims feel that the narc is still ignoring them even after everything has happened so the narc is invested in its new supply, its new toy. It's going to want to know everything about its new toy. So it really doesn't have time to go back and check on you and see how you're doing because it discarded you for its new supply. I mean, in this case, because of the fact that the narcissist went through so much subterfuge just to discard you, the victim, now turned survivor, they're more their attention is more focused on the new supply. So because the new supply is considered in the narc's eyes different or brand new, their excitement is pretty much with that new supply. But don't fall asleep on that because just because they're invested in their new supply and they happen to be ignoring you or they're giving yet again the silent treatment or they're claiming to go no contact with the actual perpetrator, which we know that's not the case, they're still watching you now another reason which is kind of an overlap from the first one in that they're delving in their new supply it's primarily to have to still have an emotional hold over the victim it's to have that control over the victim's emotions so during the discard while they were giving you the silent treatment they knew that that was hurting you and whether or not you were telling them flat out that they were hurting you with the silent treatment your emotions, your reactions to their behaviors was clearly telling them that. So while they're with their new supply, they're simultaneously putting you in an emotional timeout. And pretty much. It's pretty much just kind of giving you punishment on top of the abuse that they have already inflicted on you. So just keep this in mind. If they're ignoring you, if they are not really bothering with you, they're doing you a favor. So the third reason that a narc would go silent is the fear of rejection. So if the damage and pain that they've caused you in the discard and going silent, if they've been rejected by the new supply, the fear of going back to you and being rejected, they know it's not going to happen. They know there is no chance in going back to you for the second, third, or fourth chance, whatever it is that it may happen. It's not going to happen because they've done so much damage to you. I mean, it's pretty much where their ego and pride won't allow them to take accountability. And we know that. We know that they're too arrogant. And, of course, they could do no wrong in their world. So if by any chance they had decided that they wanted to come back to you and try to make it work again with you, they know the possibility of that can be slim to none. See, if a narcissist had ever decided to try to take accountability for their actions, we know that it wouldn't be sincere. There's always an agenda behind anything that they attempt to do when it involves sincerity. So if they decided to come forward to you and attempt to take accountability for all of the pain and damage that they've caused you with the idea of the possibility that you will reject them, clearly that would give them narcissistic injury. And of course, we know that a narcissist cannot be rejected. It's like a big, big shot to their ego. So it's pretty much if they have to do all the work to try to gain your trust, to try to get you back, and they're just not going to do it, especially if there's no guarantee of you taking them back. And of course, one clear, obvious reason a narcissist would go silent on you and would not say anything to you is because you know that they're a narcissist. Not only do you know that they're a narcissist, but you've had no quarrels in exposing them and their behaviors, exposing the damage that they have done to you, 
to everybody because clearly that is what a survivor does you basically create that awareness and with creating awareness you're exposing these people for who they are this balls in with shame because once a narcissist has been found out and once a narcissist has been exposed a lot of people will tend to look at them differently and because narcissists care way too much what the outside world thinks of them because they have to create this false image of themselves the idea of people judging them critical narcissists can't handle criticism and they can't handle people telling them that they're not perfect or telling them that they're wrong pointing out their abusive behaviors or just simply putting a mirror to their face they cannot handle any of those things which leads them to narcissistic collapse but we're talking about why they go silent shame fear everything is fear-based with them and as much as they want to give you guys the impression that they are the king of the jungle or they're the queen of the kingdom it does not matter because deep down inside those egos very shallow very thin very big but definitely definitely destroyable so you guys have the power to pretty much destroy them and some people don't even really realize it so just keep in mind guys narcissists going silent after a discard big favor for you so guys thank you so much for joining us i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful for you if you like it give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel check out my other content and if you enjoy it do subscribe and you'll be notified every time I do a video. Join us every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our weekly live chats. And would you like to add anything? Just make sure you subscribe to her, her YouTube. Check out her Instagram. Check out her Facebook. Intuitive Vibes every Tuesday, like she said. Her Instagram is intuitive.empath83. And on Instagram and of course I have the podcast everything is going to be linked in the description box below thank you again for being here and just keep in mind guys if you can't stop thinking about them if you feel like you're still drawn to them that is all a clear-cut sign for you to stay the hell away from them because trust me trauma bonds are very serious I'll see you guys next time